What's up, everybody? I have a burning question for you today. How do you keep the people that get on your site? I'm Elizabeth Muller, founder of Bloom Creative Company, a Squarespace design agency. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to build a lead magnet in Canva and how to get it to work on your Squarespace website. But before we do that, I wanna address my first question. What do I mean by getting, by keeping people on your site? So the most organic best way to grow your company with that hard earned traffic that you got on your site is to grow your list. And what do I mean by that? Your list is your collection of email addresses that you're getting from interested people that land on your site. Now, the best way to grow your list is to offer something of value. So when I say offer something of value, maybe it's a free PDF download, a chapter in a book, something that someone interested in your service will find interesting that they will be inclined to give up their email address to you. And this is the best, most solid way to grow your company because you have direct access to the people that are seriously interested in you. Now you can use this list, I'm sorry, you can grow this list from an opt-in. Now this opt-in is where they give up their email address, get something for free from you, something of value, and they go into your list. And in this list, you can access them at any time emailing them weekly, monthly, anytime you want to offer some sort of a, a promotion or a new service. This is just the best way to get people to trust you more, to be more informed, to buy from you, and to be more knowledgeable about your business and why you serve. So we're going to start in Canva. I'm going to show you a super quick way to just plug in information, download it as a as a file and how we use that in your site through the opt-in process where they give up their email and then two ways that you can get that download or piece of value to them. So let's hop on a screen share and get started. So help start building systems in your Squarespace site that will really help you level up and give purpose to what you are creating in your site. And that is of course building a, li a list. And that is so incredibly valuable because it gives you direct access to the people that want to hear from you and that have shown interest in you. So one really great way of building a list is creating a lead magnet. So it's something of value that someone would want from you that would help them action something that you're trying to help them with. So for example, I'm going to build out a lead magnet that I'm going to put on my site. And I will show you how we build that in this Bloom test site here. So the first step is to create the lead magnet in Canva. Now I love Canva because they have all these wonderful templates that don't take a ton of time to pop in. So I have six steps in this tutorial and for my lead magnet. So I wanna just pick something really quickly that is going to symbolize six steps. So I like the look of this one. I'm gonna do this and we're gonna customize it together and find the best way to get our steps on here. So here are my steps right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it right into the infograph. So step number one. Oops, so I'm gonna paste that and I'm just gonna put step one. And then here's step number two. And step number two is here. And these are the exact steps that we'll be going with you, going through here. And then there will be an option to download this at the end of the video as well. So I'm just gonna quickly post these all in here. Step three. And as you can see, I'm just clicking, plugging information, and then moving on to the next. So I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna delete that. I'm going to make this consistent. Delete that, step number four. Delete, here we go. Oops. And as you can see, it's just super simple. You're just plugging it in. It takes like no time at all. And then we're just gonna copy this entire block and create another one, copy paste for step number six. Alrighty. 
Now you can do so many things with Canva. If you, if you need a logo, super easy to create a logo. If you need, you know, in, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, super, super easy to do. Now I'm just gonna, whoops, I'm gonna move this up and this one. That way we can get this entire step six up here. Okay, and this is going to be the most time intensive thing that you will do in this entire video. All right, now if I want to throw my logo on here, I can. I'm just going to put Bloom Creative Co. And then here I'm going to put six steps to creating a lead magnet in Squarespace. I'm going to delete that. Maybe move this down. I'm going to click on group. And we'll bring this out. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to leave this here. Now, if I want to get super fancy, I can scroll down here and add a new image down here. But we're going to keep this nice and short. Bloom Creative company.com. Perfect. Lead magnet. Done. I'm going to rename it. Lead magnet uh, Squarespace. Download. It's going to ask you for a bunch of different options. I always do PNG when I'm uploading. Download. It's going to show up down here. So let's move on to our next step. So here are the steps in front of us, right? So we created our PDF in Canva. Creating your opt-in list in Squarespace campaigns. So your Squarespace campaigns is inherent in your site. If you go to marketing, email campaigns, and this is where you're going to create your list. Now, I would create a new list, oops, sorry, for each of your opt-ins just so you can track how well they do. And there's, there's an analytics tab that will help you with that, but we're going to put opt-in lead magnet. Save. Awesome. Step number two, done. Step number three, create a new page for your download in Squarespace and link your Canva PDF. So in here, so what I do on my site is I have a resources tab that allows anyone to come in and offer up their email address to get a resource. So I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna go to a page layout just to make it uh, just super easy. Let's do a text, but you know what, let's just set a blank page. So opt-in lead magnet. Enter. Here's our new page. I'm going to click edit. Add page content. Maybe this is where we just put a text here. Uh, opt lead magnet instant download. Okay, and then right here, I'm going to create a button, make it look nice. And I'm gonna click this cog here and under file, this is where we're going to upload our lead magnet. So I'm going to drag this here, it's gonna upload, make sure you click it, it's got the check mark, always open in a new tab so you don't bounce them off that current page so they're still connected to your site. I'm gonna click apply and save. Beautiful, next step create an opt-in box on your site on a current page, or you can create a new page. And then in the storage tab, select the list name you created in the last step. So I like to do a new page and I put it under my resources tab. So I'm just gonna start with a blank page and it's going to say free lead magnet, how to. We'll just call it that for now. So when we go here, we're gonna click edit, and we'll hit the plus again, and there is a newsletter template. So we'll just go like this, subscribe to our newsletter, and we're gonna hover over and click the pencil because we're already in edit mode, newsletter form. So this is what you'll see internally. So I'm gonna label it so I can further track it and make sure it's doing really well. Opt-in for lead magnet how to. So when you are over here in storage, this is where you're going to connect Squarespace campaigns by clicking, and then you're gonna click on your list and we'll hit apply and we'll hit save. We're on to the next step. Just making sure I 
cross the T's and dot the I's. Storage tab, list two. Okay, attach the PDF via linking words or button. Okay, so we kind of already did that step. But if we go back to that page for our opt-in, we linked our opt-in to the button here. So there's one more way that you can do it. You can always hit click here, highlight that, link, click the cog over to files, lead magnet again, open a new window, save, apply, save, done. So the next part here, you have two options to give your subscriber the download. So the first way is in the post submit tab of your newsletter block that we were just in, redirect to the page created in step three. So if we go back here and we are in our opt-in, oops, I'm sorry, into the newsletter, we click edit, hit the pencil, and over here in post submit, you're gonna click to add post submit redirect. So we're gonna hit content because external would be an external www.google.com or linkedin.com. Content is what's in our site now. So I'm gonna scroll through and look for the page that we created, which is not this one because this is the page that we're on. So the opt-in for the lead magnet because that's where we have the PDF file located. We'll hit apply. We're gonna click done and save. So that's one way to do it. So when someone is on this page here, they'll fill in their email address. And then once they fill it out, let's see if I can do it in demo mode. Here, sign up. And it goes right to our page here. They click here and it's gonna open up the lead magnet. See how that works? You might have to rewind and watch that one more time but it's just super quick, boom, boom, gives them their instant download that you're promising. The second way to do it is to create a new email blast in campaigns and link that new page created in step three. So if I'm in here and I go to marketing, email campaigns, and I am just going to create a blast here, and then I'm going to edit a blast just like I would edit on a page. So you can pick a template, Let's just do this one here, and I'm gonna use this layout. So here, you just kind of go down. So I'm hovering over this first part, which is my logo. I'm gonna make sure it's my logo, make sure it's nice and big and pretty. And then since they just subscribed, and this is the email that's instantly going to be sent to them, here's your download. And then what we would do is maybe make a button here. And then this is where we would link it to that download page. So here's all the pages in our sites. Opt-in, nope, we don't want the opt-in. We want the free lead magnet how to save. And then we'll go here and we'll just delete all this extra stuff. And then we would have to, of course, add our legal address, our branding, if we want social links, all this. So you can really customize your page. But right here under email, this is where you'd write your subject, your preview text. You would select your mailing list, opt-in lead magnet because that's who's going to instantly get this. Sender profile, you need to create this in order to even send an email and then schedule immediately. So once they subscribe, they immediately get this email in their inbox to confirm their opt-in and then they can click and it will go right back to that page again to download. So that is it. Um, I have a link down below so you can print out these steps from the template that we just created. So you can have that with you, but I hope that helped. So what do you think? Pretty easy, right? And it is such a crucial way to get those people that come to your site that you worked so hard to get them there to turn around and, and convert them into a sale and show your value and show why you're there to serve them. So let me know if you found value in that. Give the video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button because we are busy over here producing more content for you to help you grow your business organically or to how, how to manage your Squarespace site. So please leave a comment below if you enjoyed that. And, and if you are a business and you do need help, that's what we're here for. You can find our email below as well. One last thing before I go, I put a free download in the link in the, in the notes below so you can download this exact steps that we went through in the walkthrough. So find the link below, smash the subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.